Do you get triggered by your ex? Do you ever wish you could just wave a magic wand and make your energy draining ex just go away so your life would be happier, more peaceful, free from the stress and drama? If you said yes, then you're in the right place. Although I was one who initiated our divorce, I was so angry and resentful towards my ex. Even the mere mention of his name would set me off. And as shameful as it is now to admit that, I would often have dark thoughts of him falling off the face of the earth or the ground would just open up and suck him through. <laughs> I would often think that. Thankfully, after some emotional healing work, none of these things really happened because my children wouldn't be happy. Okay? So it's all about your children being happy. Besides, he's proven to be quite handy to have around once I was able to recognize his value after I did my emotional healing work as a divorced mom. Divorce pain. Let's talk about that. So when I was acting from a place of divorce pain, I truly believed that I could just get the monkey off my back and if you would just go away, that my life would be complete bliss, right? Often I would think back at our picture-perfect marriage when things were good and we were both happy and wondered how did we end up getting divorced. People were surprised, astonished, because we were the perfect couple. In fact, I never saw myself as ever getting divorced in a million years, nor did our family and friends. So what happened to us? Where did the love go? How did I wind up being a divorced single mom? You know, I've also learned to never say never. I was convinced that our marriage was a strong one. In fact, I would always say a silent prayer to myself when my husband went to work hoping that nothing would happen to him because I couldn't imagine life without him. So perhaps it was my inability to show any real emotion combined with my fear of showing my vulnerable emotional vulnerabilities because I was convinced that our marriage was a strong one and nothing would ever break it. Perhaps, looking back now, I should have dated more men instead of marrying the first man who asked me out. Perhaps it was my lack of me time, giving myself, building that relationship with myself, you know, or all the responsibilities I had as a mother with three children and the endless family commitments to my parents his parents, and goes on and on. Perhaps I married my ex to get away from my own dysfunctional family. You know, these are a lot of the thoughts and controlling parents. Or perhaps it was a combination of all these things. This is what kept me feeling unhappy stuck in emotional pain, feeling unworthy and unforgiving towards my ex. So I got emotionally triggered by these things. Whichever it was, this is why I kept getting emotionally triggered by my ex. I needed to heal myself and find myself, whoever I was, because I lost whoever Rita was. I didn't know her. I didn't build that relationship. And it wasn't until I went through the divorce grieving process 
and gave myself the necessary healing time that I realized that my negative attitude towards my ex was actually just a symptom of a deeper rooted pain that was causing me to be unhappy as a result of living with more fear in my life than love. Because as I often say, nothing works in the absence of love. Not your relationships, not your diet, not your job, not your finances. You fill in the blank. Nothing works in the absence of love. So this small but huge piece of emotional coaching that I just gave you took me over 20 plus years to figure out on my own. Now as an energy healer and a holistic emotional health coach, I can assure you with strong conviction that any suppressed negative emotions that you're pushing down inside of yourself could eventually cause a massive disruption in your life in some way, shape, or form or the lives of your children. So you don't want to suppress this stuff. Suppress negative emotions, let's talk about that. It's like trying to hold down a beach ball in water. If you've ever been to the beach, had a beach ball, tried to push that down in the water, you could do it for a while. You could suppress it. But after a while, your arms are gonna get tired, okay? And you're gonna lose energy to that exhaustion. So what happens when your arms get tired or you get tired? You don't care anymore and you get careless and you can't suppress anymore and you just it starts to spill out in your words, your actions, your parenting style, your, your job, you know, your finances, the, the way you carry yourself, your physical, you know, look and you just let things go and it just blows up. This is when your life blows up. And often we'll say, well, that person's life looks so perfect. They got it together. You know what? Stop looking there. Because you never know what's going on in someone's life. Besides the fact, that's not your life. Focus on you. Focus on you and improving yourself. And the universe has a way taking care of all the other stuff that pisses you off. Whether it be your ex, the neighbor, your boss, whatever. Forget about that. Refocus on yourself and what you need to do to fix yourself and your life. So invest in yourself. Because like I always say, you can't get away from the person in the mirror. Everywhere you go, there you are. Go to the bathroom, there you are. So you might as well learn to love her, okay? Love her, nurture her, make her happy. Otherwise, she, that inner child, will make your adult self, your life a living hell, trust me. So you wanna take care of yourself. So, you've pushed down, again, like a beach ball. Eventually, when your energy is too low and you get too tired, you're bound to drop the ball and it'll spring out of the water uncontrollably and with a vengeance. So, your unresolved emotional triggers are like that too. And he suppressed negative emotions, anger, sadness, resentment, bitterness, jealousy from your divorce that's left unhealed, that you're pushing down inside of yourself, will eventually get triggered. It's going to show up as one of those things, anger, resentment, sadness, unforgiveness towards your ex. So understandably, I get it, trust me, I get it. As I once 
divorced woman and mom that it would feel natural to believe that the source of your unhappiness is completely your ex's fault. It feels good. Let's face it, it feels good to say that. It feels good to stick it to them, okay? However, the easiest solution, and sorry, so we're sticking it to our ex, and we think that the easiest solution to be happy is for your ex to just disappear and go away. But unfortunately, that's not the answer, all right? The answer to being a happy divorced mom is to emotionally heal from your divorce. I kid you not. You have to do the work, okay? So that you can move on, move forward to a better life, be healthier, be happier, and be the parent that your children need you to be. Otherwise, you're going to stay stuck in that pain. And you know what? After a while, it's not attractive. I could tell you, my husband's ex, she's still angry 12 plus years later. She's nasty, she's negative, she's angry. She showed up at our door the other day and quite honestly, I didn't even recognize her. No word of a lie. Didn't even recognize her because her negative insides are starting to show up on her outsides. And that's what happens. It can show up as disharmony, you know, health issues, you name it. So the physical is always a result of your emotional health. So that's the key there, all right? So my coaching recommendation to you, do not postpone your happiness for even one more day. Don't wait for six months for this to happen, or next year, or when you pay your bills, or when your ex is this. Right now, do not postpone your happiness for one more day. Start improving your emotional health right now. Slowly, step by step, you will get there. So, if you, I hope you enjoyed this video, this video blog. If you like this, please give it a like. I hate doing this, but we have to, okay? <laughs> we have to do this to get the videos out there so that it can reach all of you. So, do me a favor, like it, please. What I'm more interest, interested in or your comments. Subscribe to this video. Hit that little button on the side. Subscribe because every couple of weeks I'll be doing a blog about surrounding divorce mom health. So you don't want to miss it. So subscribe and please send me your comments on what you really need help with so that I can make some content around that. All right. So once again, there's a link below. If you're feeling triggered by your ex and you want to learn how to stop being triggered, I'm going to attach a link below to my free webinar. Jump on, listen to it, listen to the whole thing, okay? Because that's going to help you. It's 90 minutes that's going to change your life. And honestly, if you can't do that, then you'll never do what you need to do to completely be happy. So jump on the link, click the free webinar. What do you have to lose? So from my art to yours, see you next time. God bless. Stay hopeful. Stay in the light. Things are going to get better. God bless.